Hey guys, welcome to Keep It Spiritual with myself, Chris Meredith, and this is my Spiritual Loves. Now, first of all, remember to give us a massive thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Now, in this episode, I bring you a book that has completely transformed my life. I knew this book was going to be fabulous, but it dropped on my doorstep probably about a week and a half ago now, and I've read it from cover to cover. It is the fabulous From Innocence to Innocence by the beautiful medium, which is Darren Britton. Now, this book, I knew it was going to be great, but I didn't think it was going to be this great. Now, first of all, Darren actually starts by unfolding his own personal kind of life journey, connecting with spirit from a young age, and then also kind of working on his intuition and then seeing lights, but not really knowing what these lights are. Now, there's some beautiful stories that Darren talks about from his childhood, in working with his intuition, finding a boy that was trapped as well. But then also talks about times when he was shot. Yes, he was. You know, I was shocked at that as well. But one thing I absolutely love how Darren has put this book together and how he's wrote it is his respect for the spirit world, his love for the spirit world. And of course, his own personal journey from the spiritualist church, starting in that development circle and then working up on platform. And of course, to the medium we all love today. But his story is not without, you know, pitfalls. It's also not without fear. You know, his own self-confidence issues that he deals with. You know, he's a real person, but he's not kind of painted a picture and it's all perfect. You know, the way that Darren has written this book is so, so honest and so beautiful for people that are starting out on their mediumship journey a little bit. You know, like myself, I want to start to develop again, but having a book like this First of all, it doesn't shove information down your throat. You're not told what to do with Darren, you know, his own experiences. He calls out, you know, when people have been wrong in that kind of spiritual movement before. And just the way that Darren brings everything together from his own personal story to then tips for us to develop as well and to work in our own awareness and really center ourselves and really starting to connect with ourselves and building that connection with the spiritual world, but doing it the right way. So if you're a person out there that has missed going to a spiritualist church, missed going to a development circle right now, you know, I would say, you know, from innocence to innocence is a perfect place to pick up or even restart that journey. Maybe you've gone to a spiritual church and you've not connected with it for whatever reason, you know, and you actually want to start again, but you know you've got that connection with spirit. Or maybe you're a person that just kind of wants to delve into, you know, the spiritual world. You want to find out what it is like to be a medium. Now, just the way that Darren from cover to cover has written this book is so respectful of the spiritual world as well and really talks about being in that space all about love and really bringing everything together perfectly but so much respect for Darren Britton for bringing this book out for being so honest about his own journey and of course his journey with the spiritual world and then his journey you know as a medium and to now which is so beautiful but we can really harness on Darren's work and then we can harness that power within ourselves then to develop our own selves the right way so from me the beautiful From Innocence to Innocence by medium Darren Britton is one of my favourite books that I have read this year. And I've read it from cover to cover in a week and a half, which for me is an absolute record. It's full of laugh out loud moments. It's full of Darren's own personal experiences as well. It's full of how we can connect with spirit and what that power is and how we can love ourselves more as well and learn from Darren's experiences, all good and bad as well. So if you want to find out anything more about Darren Britton, and of course, if you want to purchase a copy of the book, I'll put everything in the description below. Thank you very much for watching My Spiritual Loves on Keep It Spiritual. I've been Chris Meredith. Go and check him out because he's just fabulous. Until next time, I'll see you later.